How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Tony Hall here. And I don't really want to give too much background on, you know, uh, all the things that's been happening lately. Most of you guys who know me, you know about the move. I just moved from New England to Florida. And I just want to get right into our first video, which today it will be about a shift. And I chose to put this today, you know, this first day to be about a shift in uh, consciousness, a shift in perspective, a shift in a shift in uh, the age that this this you know that our world is going through. And as most people know, this is the shift of into the age of Aquarius, and this is supposed to be the time of people becoming more conscious and i believe it is actually occurring and something i wanted to bring y'all uh everyone's attention to is because you know in my videos i like to i like to give people with ten something tangible you know something something that they can actually do so that every video that they watch from me is you know it, it's, it's improving them in some way so Today, I really just want to bring your attention to a word that a lot of people probably don't know about, and it is called qualia. If you're familiar with a guy named Deepak, Deepak Chopra, he actually wrote a book that I have. It's called uh, You Are the Universe and Why It Matters. He wrote it with uh, another guy. I can't remember his, his name right now, but I will, uh, anybody who needs it, just contact me. I'll give it to you, the guy's name. Either way, in that book, he speaks about qualia. And the importance I want to bring of that word is that uh, qualia itself is proof that as human beings, you know, like there is a difference between the color red and us experiencing the color red. You know, our experiences of things come with all of our feelings about those things. And, you know, like, most of our other feelings they come to us habitually like we create these habitual habits uh these habits of uh our emotions you know like our, the, the ways we feel throughout the day and we create these moods and you know because of these moods we create we develop like these uh personalities like you know some you know are uh, nowadays there are a lot of neg you know disagreeable manifestations of that uh like anxiety and depression and stuff like that and my point in bringing up qualia really is that you know we forget that we're actually in control of of how we experience things like we have we have in ourselves the power to not only experience things we want to experience but we have the, in the, ourselves the power of experiencing it the way we want to you know, like we, I'm, um, I'm sure when it comes to bad, uh, habitual patterns we have emotionally, I'm sure when it first started, you know, we weren't craving those things, but eventually it gets to the point where people have like negative experiences and they crave it. Like, for example, someone who is so-called, he has like a depressed outlook on life, you know, he craves that person, he or she eventually may crave the chemicals that your your cells get from you creating those feelings and generating those thoughts and creating those those mental cycles in your head and you know there's a actually there's a guy named Deepak I mean Eckhart Tolle who he he actually wrote another book that I love called uh he actually he he's the author of The Power of Now and he wrote another book called um uh discovering life purpose or something like that either way he calls it the pain body he says that our pain bodies come out and they feed off our energy cycles you know we feed into them we try to resist them we fight them whatever the case may be and we feed the energies and they go dorm they lie dormant again until they come out to feed again and you know these energy cycles that we have when we're unconscious of them they're kind of just like running our life and we all have the ability to 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 make ourselves happy because you know like 
you can be in the middle of a war. If you're laughing, then you're obviously feeling good. There, there's people who are on their deathbed who can laugh. Like, so it shows you to the, to the point of, you know, the end of our life. Like, we can always choose to, to feel better, to be happy. Now, most of the time, what we don't notice is that there are people who, for example, uh, there are people who they create these negative uh they create these negative narratives of things that are, are going on and it's like it's like the same old game that our brain always plays it your brain for example when we when you become upset well anytime you're upset your brain is it points to all the things outside yourself like this is what's making me mad this person said this is making me mad this person is making me mad that's making me mad but all in all it's your brain that's actually saying these things so if you if you really if you're really conscious of what's going on your brain is upsetting you and it's pointing to all the things outside of yourself like you know and you're blaming all these things outside yourself and you're trying to operate on all these levels outside yourself and try to change all these things outside yourself and it doesn't matter what you do nothing in the inside ever changes you still feel those energy patterns over and over and over and we have to learn to start you know to to not listen to those narratives that are because our your brain is gonna of course is gonna deny the fact that it has the power to feel better you know and this is this is this is the reason why the things that i teach people it only works for those who come and seek my teaching because if if somebody is if somebody wants to feel better but they're not ready and i go to them and say oh your problems are all a figment of your imagination yeah because your imagination is just inside your head and they're like what you tell me all these things that my problems aren't real they don't exist so i'm making it no i'm not telling you i'm making it up but it's it's actually all in your head there's no such thing as these things that we create it's good or bad you know like you know when something is disagreeable or agreeable you know you know when you're doing the right thing or the wrong thing but as far as us having these like but even as far as up or down, there's no such thing as up or down unless you're standing on a planet that has gravity and it makes it relevant. There's no such thing as light or dark. There's no such thing as soft or hard. When something feels hard to you, it's only because you're touching it with your hand and you're experiencing the softness of your hand in comparison to the hard thing. And you say this thing is hard. But to the universe, there's no such thing as hard. That's not how it works. So all these things we create in our mind are illusions they're just figments of our imagination and we base our every day off of it we fight with everybody we fight with our loved ones we like create these wars over things and like you know we never actually scratch the surface of what's going on because we're like we're spiritual beings and like we're trapped trying to operate on the physical level so when when you're talking negative about people when you're talking disagreeable things about other people how does that make you feel when you're yelling at someone when you're upset when you're doing anything disagreeable how does that feel you feel bad inside you don't feel good if it, you feel negative and my point in saying that is what i want you to take away from this guys is there are there's not one moment in time that is better that's better than another moment in time all moments in time are equally important meaning that all moments in time have an equal amount of good things and bad things. Some things may even seem good or seem bad to you right now, and then down the line you find out it was a good thing. So it's all about your perspective when it comes to what's, what's, what's you know, like how you're judging things. So my point being is if every day is an even amount of so-called positive or negative, you know, agreeable or disagreeable situations, you, we don't need people pointing out the bad things as they go throughout your day. You don't need to do that to yourself. You know, you have this 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 disposition like this this. You know, people have depression, and all day long they point out the depressing things that happen, and they wonder why they're depressed. If why why not point out the good things? Why not point to the to, to the good things? Like I always see, uh, uh, people when they're like like when when they're ruminating like when when people are are ranting about stuff most of the time it's always about something negative and it's like we, you know naturally we just have a tendency to to you know over emphasize the negative things and 
however that that started how whatever the cause of it is i challenge you to start doing the opposite even if there are bad things happening i challenge you to point out the one good thing in the bad situation be the one person that can do that can can you be the one person that can be positive that can always find a way to turn shit into sugar can you be that person if you are that person then you will be you will start to become something that is very needed all over the place like you will become the 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 hottest commodity people everyone is looking to be happy and the 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 craziest part is that because everyone is looking outside of themselves to be happy everyone has ha they they they're looking in the wrong place so if you, if you can teach people to start changing from the inside by infecting them with your positive habits like you know your your you know show them how to point to positive things and you know that's that's the video for today i'll be back as soon as i can with another video and you guys stay tuned don't forget to subscribe like you know I'll, i'm gonna make sure that i give you guys a chance to pick topics but for now but until you know my following is bigger i'll be coming up with topics so next week it's gonna be helping others out in the correct way i believe to do that see you guys later